The Earth Spirit Journal, March 2017, New Moon. A bi-monthly newsletter created with the intention of providing you with thoughts on the evolving shamanic practice of bringing balance between the Earth and Spirit. The New Moon. Which direction are you headed? Welcome to Shamanics in Portugal's Journal. Our intention is to provide you, our readers, friends and connections with an overview of what is emerging in our much larger, ever-evolving community as we bring balance between Father Sky and Mother Earth and within ourselves. February's second eclipse on 26th of February was followed within a few hours by the new moon appearing. This new moon, solar eclipse, fell in the intuitive and watery sign of Pisces. The first solar eclipse of 2017 set the tone and energy for the months ahead. It created a theme which will last until the next solar eclipse on 21st August. Whilst lunar eclipses are all about endings, solar eclipses are about new beginnings. Whatever emotions or events were stirred earlier are likely to melt away and new directions appear as we move into and through March. Traditionally, Solar eclipses have the potential for huge personal transformation, for its energy obscures the now or potential future and allows each of us to reflect on the past, not to dredge up old energy or relive painful events or experiences, rather to positively reassess where you have been and use this knowledge to readjust your path moving forward. Because there was also a new moon, it felt more as though a chapter or even a book was being closed. It helped provide an idea of what new chapter or book lies ahead. For this reason, it provides the perfect moment to choose now how you want to move through this phase. Yet to plant the seeds of your life, this is the moment to do so. New Directions Choose how you want to move through this phase. Invite the breakthrough. You most desire to take those next steps and trust spirit is always by your side. Of course, there are no limits or rules on what you can or cannot manifest. So do not be afraid to dream big. This cycle lasts until late August. Having a clear vision is going to be important as this period has a powerful theme of focusing on your purpose. Those using to the full their innate talents will likely enjoy practical results and achievement. This is the moment to seek from your inner knowing how to be of service and the direction best suited to you. Germination, after all, can only take place once your seeds are planted. What is your vision? A moment to quest, perhaps? The first vision quest of 2017 is taking place on 23rd to 26th March around the equinox. There will be a half-day introduction to shamanic journey on the morning of 23rd March, followed in the afternoon by the start of the Vision Quest. A copy of our All About Fire workbook will be provided to all who book. To book a complimentary breakthrough strategy session to know your vision, email us at shamanicsinportugal at gmail.com. Skype or similar such as Zoom is available. February's Discovering the Inner Realms, A Journey into Shamanism of 2017 was rated by its participants as a 9 where 10 is superb. The next one is 22nd and 23rd April. In addition to being introduced to the shamanic experience of ritual, creating sacred space, journeying, meeting your guides, power animals, you will have the opportunity to connect to the energies of a medicine wheel, stone circle and labyrinth. These, as well as drumming, rattling and chanting, are part of the event. After leaving us, third parties commented on the difference in the energy and expressions of the previous participants. You can, of course, spend a few more days at the Quinta de Luz, soaking up the energies and ambience where the event is held, enjoying the mountain views and gardens. Further details are on our website, www.quintadalush.org. Pisces energy is all about inner reflection, intuition and higher consciousness. This is a wonderful energy that will join us for the months ahead, making it a perfect moment to think about your spirituality and the deeper meaning of directing your life. In many ways, 
this Pisces energy will not really allow you to move forward unless you have considered the inner stirrings of your heart and intuition. A moment to allow rather than pushing for this moon has a focus on our spiritual ever-evolving self. Which means old, deeply buried wounds and beliefs could surface to be laid to rest before you can succeed in anything new. This intent is emphasised by what could be the start of this year's most important retrograde, that of Venus. Reevaluate yourself. The Venus retrograde commenced on 4th March for a six week power period. It starts a period where we will be asked to reevaluate what matters most in our lives. Typically, Venus rules love and money. So these subjects will tend to come up for review to ensure we are aligned as closely as possible to our own core values. Do not be surprised if questions such as what really matters, what is really worthwhile and what are my values appear. Without this, we will not have firm ground on which our seeds can grow our vision. One of the challenges we may have during this is feeling afraid of pushing ourselves forward in case others do not like us, asking us to examine our own self-worth. On 10th March, you may notice a slowing down in your momentum, which initially could create irritation at the perceived snail's pace of life. Its purpose is in fact to ensure we have the stamina and energy for bringing the new into creation. So look at it positively. Mars and Venus in Aries are travelling side by side until 11th March. So love slash sex is on our minds. A moment to meet potential partners. Solidify existing relationships into something dynamic, energised and fun. Magnetism is in the air, everywhere. Have some fun everyone. It is not always like this. Aries is always about the new. So start something new now that you have the energy to do it. The full moon rises on 12th March. The journal is also available on YouTube, so you can listen to it as well as view some of the scenery where our events are held. To further assist you stay in the flow of what is evolving, we make almost daily posts on our Facebook page. Gregory and the Shamanics in Portugal team. Thank you.